So today we'll be creating a terrarium for my Rysida Nuda, which is a blue-legged centipede. This one is named Blue Kool-Aid, as named by my girlfriend, and he's a nice little peed, very underrated in the hobby. I think they're a really fantastic species to keep. Very nice beginner centipede, for sure. He's a really nice specimen found throughout Eastern Australia. Let's get to it. So to start, we'll be taking this jar here, just a normal jar from Daiso. We'll be making the terrarium from this. Nice and clean. Nice, nice. So for the bottom substrate, we're going to be using crushed seashells and this stuff is going to be good for a drainage layer for water and to stop it from molding at the bottom. You could use gravel but it just seems pretty fancy using these seashells so I decided to go with that. And for the soil we're going to be using organic potting mix. I love to give these to my animals. You could just use normal, normal soil from outside but you know me, I like my shit kind of amped up to the extreme level so yeah just don't use anything with fertilizer in it it's not good for the animals it doesn't really cause a problem but i just wouldn't risk it and here is some moss that i found outside just laying there i was like all right this moss is mine and i tried to put a tara plant in there and then i quickly realized it was way too big Kinda sucks because it would have looked nice as a tropical looking jungle plant, but wasn't meant to be. So very sad. Yeah, tried to find another one, still too big. Kinda sad. Looking back, I could have just chopped it, but I didn't do that. So I went to try and find another plant outside, and I ended up finding this polka dot plant, which is pretty nice. I stole it from someone's front yard. I don't recommend going to people's front yards and taking their plants, but uh, yeah, I it was overgrowing, so I was like, may as well, they were gonna cut this anyway. So we're just gonna plant that in there. Nice. And that's looking really good. It's gonna be a nice contrast compared to my blue centipede, pink. Then went back outside and I got some ferns and there's a little flat worm on my scissors there. And it looks really good with the fern in. I think it looks excellent. It looks nice and sexy. Now we're just gonna give it a spray, make sure all the dirt from the sides kind of like go to the bottom. It's really dirty in the sides, so yes. basically done that looks great all there's left to do is to put blue kool-aid in there and we'll call it a day i think it looks really nice so this pub was a little hard he would not want to come out of the temporary enclosure but i am she got him in there look at him go nice really does well contrast in the, the pink pocket of plant. It's really nice. And here are some action shots of blue Kool-Aid in his new terrarium. Really happy guy. Nice. Look at him. So this was Rivera Edge. Thank you guys so much for watching this terrarium build. I have another one coming up soon on my Slender Funnel web, so that's going to be great. Given to me by Matt Dooley. Highly recommend him. 
I have also a ton of videos on other bugs coming soon. It's going to be great. It's in the works. It's coming. You guys better pay attention for that. It's going to be sick. I also do videos on fragrances and I'm a knife maker. All sorts of random things. I just like to record the things, of, the things I do, things I make and share it with the world. It's kind of like my goal. So anyone watching and whoever wants to tag along on my journey, I highly appreciate it. Love you guys. This was Rivera Edge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.